coaching other coaches. Probably most of you aren't going to care about this, but I did think it was something interesting. You probably should pay attention to this if you have a coach or if you hire a coach or you've paid for a program or something like that. Uh, I was listening to an interview with Tom Barry. And if you don't know who Tom Barry is, uh, he is, uh, well, he's basically the brains behind West Side Barbell now. So he uh, came and learned from Louie, and uh, he's been there for a very long time. And uh, Tom Barry is brilliant, and he's, he's fantastic. Anyways, let's get into the story, though. Apparently, as Tom Barry shared in the story, uh, this is a new thing that I was, it's never even crossed my mind. I had no idea that people would do something like this. Apparently, coaches will hire a coach. So, Coach A hires Coach B. And uh, Coach B writes a program for Coach A. And then Coach A will go and give that program to all of his athletes, all of his clients. So they're actually doing Coach B's program. I don't know how I feel about this. It feels weird. Uh, there have been many times where I helped other coaches. I you know, coached other coaches and stuff like that. And I wonder, gosh, I hope they didn't take the program that I wrote for them and then just sold it to their athletes or their clients. That would be really fucked up. Um, I can't begin to tell you how frequently I'm disappointed with this entire industry. Uh, you know, when I coach people, when I work with people, I make a point to, I don't want to say everything is individualized or customized because that's almost too much of a statement because in general, like every program is rather similar in the sense that we have a squatting movement, we have a hinging movement, we have pushing movements, we have pulling movements, etc. So it's not like I have magical movements, but you know, it's like you take a look at this person that you're working with and you say, hey, um, you don't recover very well when we do really high volumes. So we're going to do less volume. Mm. Hey, you make more progress on low reps and high sets. This other person does well with two or three sets, but very high reps. And so over time, as you work with someone, you progress things to make it more specific to them. So even if I had two athletes doing, you know, squat and overhead press on every Monday, one of them might be doing eight sets of three because he recovers better, performs better, and progresses better on that. And the other one might be doing four sets of 12. Now they're both doing squats, they're both doing presses, but they're doing completely different loads and completely different sets and reps and stuff like that because they recover differently and they make progress differently. High rep squats don't work for me anymore. They used to. Things change over time. You're not the athlete you were whenever you were 18, 28, 38, 48, 58. Things change. Uh, your program should change. It's not like I don't do squats at 18 and I'm still squatting at 28 and still squatting at 38. It's that the rep ranges and the sets and the loading, that has to change over time. You know, when you're young, you can max out every day and somehow you recover from it. Try doing that shit when you're 40. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, so you have to get more volume with lower percentages to make up for the fact that you can't max out all the time. It's like, it's that simple. Um, and so things have to evolve. So if you took that program and just started handing it out to everyone, that would be a horrible thing. And so I will share a quick story here. I have no idea if this person got the program from someone else or if he wrote it himself, but I have inherited a number of athletes uh, over the years who came from a certain coach and every single one of them when they came to me was doing the same program didn't matter if they were a woman in their 50s or a woman in her 30s or a young man in his early 20s or a man in his 30s they all had the exact same program same movements same sets same reps same percentages same everything same 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 everything 
It's a cookie cutter program. And they paid for it. That's sad. That's sad. That's like a that's a really scammy thing to do. Um, and so, anyways, Tom Barry was sharing this thing that apparently coaches will hire another coach to coach them, and then they just take that program and give it to their clients and athletes. Um, and that really makes you start to wonder: Should you even coach other coaches anymore? And I don't know the answer to that question, but it is something that I found very interesting. I don't know why people think that you can just write cookie cutter programs or um yeah i don't get that i don't get that. like if you want to follow a cookie cutter program just download one for free off the internet there's a whole bunch of them if you want something specific that's why people hire a coach um so that's something something i was very upset to hear about because that would never even cross my mind i would never think to myself oh i should hire a coach and then i'll take the program that they wrote for me and i'll sell it to other people that would be fucked up. That would be really, really fucked up. Similarly, if you took someone else's program and just tweaked it a little bit and then acted like you wrote something new, that's fucked up too. Swede Burns did a uh, podcast recently with Dave Tate and he was talking about how people take the fifth set or even when they're 5 one He commented, people do this to Jim's program all the time and they tweak it ever so slightly and act like they have something new. Like, oh, I took 5-3-1 or I was inspired by 5 fifth set. And I, I wrote this program, and he's like, all you did was just piss in the whiskey. That's what you did. You pissed in the whiskey. You can't taste the piss, because the, you know, the whiskey's strong enough to cover it up, but you, you pissed in the whiskey. And I thought that was a great analogy. Anyways, just something to think about. You should be very careful in, uh, in who you do and don't work with, as well as uh, you know who you hire. Um, I don't know a solution to this. If you have a solution, comment below. If you know some trick to making sure this doesn't happen, comment below. Um, that would actually be useful. You'll help other people. Not just me, you'll help other people. So if you guys like the video, like the video. Um, and if you're interested in this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. But especially, if you know a solution to this, please comment below. Because I would really like to hear a solution to this, and I guarantee other people would appreciate it as well. So thanks so much for your time.